Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. You're gonna experience what you learn. So yesterday at dinner with our family, we sat down, we're eating, having a good time. I put out one of Rebbe Nachman's book, which was Crossing the Narrow Bridge. Phenomenal, phenomenal book. And specifically the section where it talks about joy. And Rebbe Nachman is really, really big on doing whatever you need to do to cultivate joy and happiness into your life. He said, it's a great mitzvah to be happy always. And what this does, it just puts you in that right vibe, puts you in that right mood. It helps you really connect when you're davening and you can have the proper focus and kavanah when you're getting into that place when it's time to pray and do all those things. Plus, nobody wants to be around you when you got an attitude and you're negative. Everybody wants to be around happy people, okay? So, I told my wife, I said, hey, as a family, let's do this. I'm going to commit first to waking up every single day, finding the good points within myself and really getting into that place of having joy and being happy all the time. This is exactly what I said yesterday. Rabbi Nachman talks about the importance of finding the good within yourself. And this is how you're able to cultivate that joy. So sometimes finding that joy and being able to cultivate that happiness is not that easy all the time. So what do you do? He says, you start by figuring out some of the good points within yourself. And he, then he even goes on to say that if you can't figure those, and if you can't find out what some of those things are, at least find the joy in being a Jew. I was like, oh, that's so beautiful, man. So, so, so anyway, I told my family, we're gonna work on this. I'm gonna commit to cultivating that, taking some time out every single day to get into that place, okay? So I wake up this morning, I was almost late for sure, but I got it anyway. Waking up early in the morning has always been my thing. I've never been a morning person, so that's something I've always been battling with, okay? So throw, throw some tefillas up for your boy. So so I got up this morning, got in my car, made it to, made it to shul anyway, right? So I, I made the shul, started down, and I felt good. But on my way there, so as I'm walking to my car, I said, okay, it's cold outside, first of all, but I walk into my car and I'm like, okay, Hashem, I'm cold, but you know what? I'm up, I'm up. And that was me starting the day off, finding some good points within myself. That was a good point. I got up and I'm getting in my car on my way to shul. Get to shul and then I'm diving. I got so much happiness. I'm feeling good. I'm able to connect and I'm, I'm, I'm in there. I'm in there. It feels good. So I ride the diving and get back in my car. I got my music bumping. I'm feeling good. I'm hype. I'm talking to myself. I am turned up. I'm hype. I feel good. So then when I get home, there's a little situation going on at home. My, my kids are getting into it and all these different things. And it could have been very, very easy for me to fall into that place of annoyance, a negative space where I wanted to get a little bit angry about some different things. But you know what? I set the tone. I was in the house. I was crunk. I was happy. I greeted everybody. I gave my wife a kiss. I kissed all my kids. I got my coffee going, which that puts me in the vibe, right? I got I to gotta have my morning coffee. So I'm already in my vibe. I got it. I'm singing, feeling good. I get into the car and it was a whole mood. It was a mood in the car. But you know what? I set the tone. I got the music playing. I'm joking around with my kids. We're having a good time. I'm doing all, I'm, I'm dancing, things like that. And I noticed that the whole vibe changed. I noticed that I set the tone. I, I heard this a while ago. It's important for us to be the thermostat, not the thermometer. We set the tone, especially as parents, right? The parents have to set the tone. So whenever there's a vibe or something going on at the house or anything in your marriage, right, set the tone. And so as I'm having fun, I'm happy, I'm joyful, the whole vibe in my car changed. Now everybody's singing, now everybody's smiling, feeling good. So I thought about it, I said, okay, I learned something. I just knew it was a matter of time until I was gonna be put in a situation to be able to apply what I just learned. It happens every single time. So going back to what I said at the beginning of the video, you're gonna experience what you learn. So I pray that we can all get to a place of learning how to take some time out, finding good points within ourselves so we, so we can cultivate that joy within ourselves and elevate our consciousness. And this way we can all have awareness. So as we're learning, we know that at some point we're gonna now be put in a situation to where we can now apply those things. We're gonna experience what we learn. May we all have simcha, may we all have joy, may we all be happy today. All we got is today. Not tomorrow, not next week. Happiness right now, today. Shalom.